Hello guys and welcome. It's Engineering Rebel. And in this video, I'm going to be explaining to you guys the difference between bore versus stroke. So in this video, I'm going to be using my mini four stroke engine as an example by taking the spark plug out and showing you guys the actual piston to give you guys a better view. I'm also going to be diving in depth to some questions that people typically ask me about bore versus stroke. So let's begin. So as you guys can see, I removed the spark plug off of my engine and here is inside the combustion chamber. So before I explain what the bore and the stroke are, I'm quickly going to show you guys the four strokes of the combustion process. So you have the intake stroke, so the piston would move downwards. And you can see how the little intake valve opens, that little gray piece right there, that's the intake valve. That's what allows the piston when it moves down to suck the air fuel mixture in. Then it closes to seal the chamber, and this is called the compression stroke. So this is what would compress the air fuel mixture. And now is the power stroke, the combustion, forcing the piston back down. And then the exhaust stroke, where the, when the piston comes back, it pushes the exhaust gases out. So that line you guys are seeing, the piece below the line is the piston and the piece above the line is the cylinder wall. So the bore is the width of the piston and the stroke is the distance that the piston travels perpendicular in the combustion chamber. So the piston would move like this. So it would move up and down and the stroke would be measured from when the piston is all the way on the bottom, just like this, and then up to the top. So the bore, would be the diameter of the cylinder. So this would be the bore. The stroke is the distance that the piston travels. So this would be the stroke. So a lot of people ask me, having a longer stroke, what are the benefits of having a longer stroke? So having a longer stroke actually means that you get more torque. The engine will have a longer rev band. There are some cars that when you hear, when they rev, they take much longer to rev, and that's because their stroke is very longer. So it kind of makes sense. A longer stroke, the much longer time that it'll take for the engine to reach red line. The shorter stroke, the quicker that the engine will reach its red line. So pretty much having a longer stroke gives you more torque and having a bigger bore gives you more power. In order to find the volume of an engine, you need to first find the volume of a cylinder. So the formula for finding the volume of a cylinder is pi, which is 3.14 times radius squared times height. Now, obviously, unless the engine that you're find, finding the volume for is a lawnmower engine, which is a one cylinder, you're probably gonna need to multiply this formula by the number of cylinders you have. So if it's, let's say, a V8, you would multiply it by eight. And that's how you would find the volume. A question that people frequently ask me is that when a car company updates an existing engine of theirs and the displacement changes, how come that's so when the bore, block, and other components are exactly the same? So what car companies do is that they change the length of the connecting rods. By changing the length of the connecting rod and making it shorter, their displacement increases because now the stroke is longer. So the longer the connecting rod, the shorter the stroke, the shorter the connecting rod, the longer the stroke. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found that video informative. It's a video I wanted to make for a while to kind of clear people's questions out of the way. But thank you guys so much for watching. More awesome videos are to come and I'll see you guys in the next one.